but the heavy these heavyweights, right? Hardy, Hardy Jr. and Watson. And I, I want to share this because these two guys are immense. They're immense. They're immense gentlemen. They're huge. These guys are huge. Hardy was like two, 280 something, almost 290 for the fight. His opponent, whatever, his opponent was uh, like right there with him. And this is bullcrap. They're saying 206 and that's not right. Two, and the thing is that's 206 and 265. That That's not what that was. Well, they showed them, they showed their weights before the fights and it looked like they were both close to like 280, 280 something. In that in that in that range, the 280 range. And that's that's a that's just big boys. Those are big boys. And they hit hard. And uh Hardy did not do great. He didn't do bad, but Watson, I think just more experience, looks like the type of person who's probably had a handful of bare knuckle exchanges before in his life i think i don't think um you know it was a surprise for him to wind up in bare knuckle fighting <laughs> so like i don't think uh i don't think it was a mismatch in any sense that like like that hardy had plenty of opportunity to win that fight but he just he did not perform to his best ability we'll see if he comes back and fights again he's a, he's huge he's huge who's not going to watch him fight are you not going to watch him fight? Seriously? Are you going to be like that? Ah, and I don't want to watch Greg Hardy fight. Nah, I'm probably I'm probably always going to tune in to when Mr. Greg Hardy Jr. fights just because he's he's big and it's fun to watch big guys <laughs> smash each other in the face. It just is.